Today we're going to take a look at adding revisions inside of the 3D Experience platform. We'll start inside of SolidWorks and the first method that I like to use is Save with Options. If you right click on an assembly and select Save with Options, this dialog box allows you to quickly and easily just create a check mark to create new revisions of parts and assemblies. I'm going to go ahead and add a quick revision comment here. And as soon as I hit save, this is going to copy this assembly up to the 3D Experience platform as a Rev B. And the benefit of using Save with Options is this is going to open Rev B of both the assembly and the part that I selected inside my active session of SolidWorks. Now I just have to simply right click on those two objects, reserve them, and I can continue on. This saves us a lot of time. We can now go ahead and just get started with our design right here inside of SolidWorks. The second method, once I reload this launcher assembly, is to add a new revision inside of the SolidWorks window. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and grab the assembly, right click, and select new revision. We'll add our same revision comment. But what this does is this creates a new revision in the platform, but does not load it into our active session. And it shows us this in SOLIDWORKS because we're still in Rev A1 and it shows a little plus sign that a new revision is available. Let's use the new revision icon in the toolbar to add a new revision for one of the parts. Now once this is completed, it's kind of a two-step process. Now I have to tell SOLIDWORKS that I want to load that revision into my session. And I do that by right-clicking on the assembly and selecting Replace by Revision. This will allow me to select the new revision that I just created, and it will load that into memory. Now I have to do the same for the part. Once that's done, I can reserve those two components and begin my work. The last method, method we'll take a look at is adding a new revision inside of the 3D Experience platform. In my web browser, I can go ahead and just find the file that I want to revise and drag and drop that into the Collaborative Lifecycle app. What this allows me to do is then create a brand new revision of the part, just like I did in SolidWorks. The benefit of doing it here in the web browser is it kind of shows me a graphical representation of what's happening with the revisions and how they're all connected. So you can see as I add a Rev B, it shows me the Rev B connected to A1. Now in the collaborative lifecycle application, it also allows me to do branching. So if I want to try out maybe a, a two arrow launcher and a three arrow launcher, I can do that by simply telling it I want to create a new branch. This will start Rev a, with Rev A, but allow me to create a new part with a new revision in its own branch, but related back to the first component. So I'm going to go ahead and just give this a new name so that I can distinguish the two inside of the platform. We'll make this our three arrow version. and create a new branch. You can see in my graph here I get a second line connected to revision A1. Now I can continue with this branch independent of my first branch and allows me to do uh, a lot of different design iterations but let me know where they all started. So branching is a powerful function inside of the 3D Experience platform. Hopefully this helps create revisions inside of the 3D Experience platform.